talk about jump shooting a little bit. Jump shooting is crucial, obviously, in the game of basketball. Obviously, my size being short, one thing that allowed me to be successful and allowed me to be on the court was that I could shoot the basketball. There's nothing a coach likes better than a guy that can put the ball in the basket. Ultimately, that's the goal of the game, is to put the ball in the basket, try to win games. You get a guy that can consistently knock down an 18, 20-foot shot, he's going to be able to play a lot of basketball at a high level. And yet there's so many kids that struggle with shooting the basketball. I think with our ESPN culture highlights, everybody wants to dunk and jump and drive to the basket. And that's okay, except that one highlight you saw was probably the only dunk they got the whole game. The rest of the time, they're having to put the ball in the basket by shooting the basketball. And so typically, the team that shoots the best is going to win. And so we want to talk about jump shooting today a little bit. First of all, as we've talked about in other segments, you want to have good technique on your shot. As we talked about in free throw shooting, it's no different in jump shooting. Easy way to help remember is the term beef. Beef for balance. You want to have good balance. Even when you're coming off a screen or when you're moving, you've got to get your body in position to have good balance before you shoot your shot. Being squared up to the basket has a lot to do with having good balance. E is for elbow being straight. We've talked about that being crucial to being good technique is having that elbow straight pointed toward the basket on your release of your shot. The second E is for eyes, having your eyes on the target, whether it be the rim or the backboard if you're at an angle. Picking that spot and keeping your eye on the target. And then your follow through. You've got to finish the shot. You can't shoot it, jerk your hands back. You want to follow through and finish the shot all the way as it goes through the basket. Shooting a jump shot is a little bit different, though, than just standing and shooting a free throw. Because free throws, you've got time to take your time, get yourself ready. In a jump shot, in the course of a game, you're going to be running, moving. You might not be rested. You might be a little tired. All those things come into play when you're shooting a jump shot. And so you really have to work on concentrating, getting yourself prepared, having your knees bent, your hands ready to catch the ball so that you can release the ball quickly and get your shot off. I know I had to do that a lot and learn to get my shot off quicker because I was small. And when you're playing against guys that are 6'5", 6'6", and you're only 6 feet tall, you don't have a lot of room to get your shot off, so you have to learn to get it off quickly. And so when you're working on your jump shot, work on getting your shot off quickly. But a lot of that is due to preparation, getting your feet squared up to the basket, having your hands ready so that when you receive the pass, you can jump up and shoot the ball. Likewise, if you have the ball in your hand, whether you're coming off a pick and roll or you're just driving a guy to the basket, a couple dribbles and pulling up, you need to work on those shots to be able to get your shot off quickly, coming off the dribble. As you're coming off, it's the same principles of getting your body squared up, but yet you're doing it at a much quicker pace, and so it takes a lot more practice and a lot of timing to learn to get that shot off while you're moving throughout the course of the game. So people can talk about shooting, and you can have good technique, but if you're not practicing it at game speed and game purposes, you're not going to learn how to get it off in the course of a game because, obviously, in the course of a game, things move much quicker. So you want to learn the techniques, and then as you're learning the right techniques, do it at a quicker pace and learn to do it in a game speed situation. And that will help improve your chances of being a good jump shooter.